All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is VMP here. Welcome back to another episode of Ron Baringsworth in Westeros. Last one was so much fun. We finally traveled north of the wall, and man, it is intense up here. Giant armies of hundreds of whites walking around, multiple Night Kings. The duel that we had last episode in the hideout, where he just immediately cuts through all of our companions, and then it's Ron versus the Night King and like five of his elite whites. That was so sick. Oh, that was so sick. We're trying to build on that success today, though. So we're still in the north. I am not willing to leave the north until we're leaving with a few giants in our tow. I'd like to think Ron saw those guys in uh, Tormund's bodyguard and was like, I need me some of them. <laughs> I need me some of them. So, that's the goal for today. Um, as well as, obviously, continuing to uh, make money, train Ron up, get our, uh, our troops looking better. Hey, Hodor. I'm, I'll be honest, Hodor, you don't seem nearly as big anymore, especially now that I've seen 10-foot tall giants. Honestly, probably taller than 10-foot. All right, so we are here. I want to talk Oi, to this guy. Sorry, I don't think I know you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hear you. Okay, you want to put together a herd of 10 head of cattle, sell it to Then That is where we're headed anyway, so I figured might as well do that. Beautiful. Hopefully that doesn't slow us down too much here. But yep, goal is I want to get to a town, sell off all the loot that we got last episode, see where we're standing, and then I've heard tale that there's a giant companion that you can recruit. And I'm not actually sure what town he's at, but he's gotta be at one of the towns here. So we'll try out Then, If not Then, then he's probably at Frostfangs would be my assumption. Um, also, at some point, I need to take out another group of whites for that quest. Not really looking forward to that, but I've got 19 days. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll do that when we do it. All right, let's head up to Then. I almost forgot, we actually leveled up so much last time, we, <laughs> that final battle, that was another nail biter. Both of those big fights that we had last episode, Ron was on like 2 HP, just clutching it out. Alright, so let's see, we got two perks for both riding and polearm. For riding, looks like we're gonna get relief force, plus 10 starting morale when you join an ongoing battle. Alright, yeah, that one's kinda meh. And then, ooh, Horse Archer versus Mounted Warrior. So either 10% extra range damage while mounted, or 5% extra melee damage. I think we're going to go for the range damage. Now, admittedly, long term, we feasibly might switch this back at some point. I'm not really concerned about how much melee damage we're doing. We're doing a lot of melee damage. Um, but it would be nice to be able to one-tap people with headshots a little more. Alright, so then Polearm, what do we have? Clean thrust. Yeah. I've been told I have that. Um, 10% <laughs> thrust damage with polearms. Not bad. Plus 30 polearm skill to infantry. Okay. Or plus 5% swing speed with polearms. Okay, so if we were still using the old spear, that'd be that'd be really nice, but we're not. So let's just do the thrust damage. And then what's this? Footwork. Plus 2% combat movement speed with polearms. I mean, when are we ever going to be dismounted purposefully using our spear? Not very often. What's this? Hard knock. 25% chance of knocking the enemy down with a heavy hit and plus 3 HP to all the infantry in your party. Yeah, that sounds a lot better. Okay, so now we got two focus points. Um, Let's drop these. Maybe into athletics. And riding needs some. And then for this. um, I mean, endurance is always a good one if we're not sure what we want to do, right? Yeah. I kind of like that. Perfect. All right. So, by the way, sorry that this episode took a little bit longer to come out than I had planned. Um, essentially, there have been massive, massive storms here. Um, and it knocked out my girlfriend's power. So, she kind of came over and uh, spent the night. And it's just kind of a little weird to uh, to record while uh, she's at the apartment. So, sorry, this is a day later than I had planned. I had wanted to do this episode for Friday stream on Saturday, and then another episode for Sunday. I think what is going to happen instead is we're just going to have uh, an episode today on Saturday and another one tomorrow on Sunday. I think that's the plan. Okay. Oh, this is the guy we need to deliver to. Snare the Wealthy. Interesting. There's a bunch of new quests that I've never really completed. I might have to check them out at some point. Who are you? Alright, uh-huh. Alright. About the task. Yep. There you go. How much did that give us? One skill point, 1800, somewhere down. 
There we go. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Where's the relationship? Thank you. I do, do I want to know what the snare the wealthy is? I, mean, I don't know if Ron Baringsworth is really the uh, Bernie Sanders type, but um. Oh. Well, what do you got here? All right. Let's just say there's an idea I've been mulling over. You may be able to help. Have you met Holly the Goods Trader? She's a very rich merchant, very rich indeed, but not very honest. It's not right that someone without morals should have so much wealth, is it? I plan to redistribute it a bit. Okay, this is actually just just Bernie Sanders, huh? Oh my goodness. Always looking for extra swords uh, to protect your caravans. What if those guards turn out to be robbers? Um, I think she might hire a renowned warrior like yourself. And if that warrior were to lead the caravan into an ambush, I suppose it's a bit dis uh, dishonorable. But I wouldn't worry too much about your reputation. Okay. Hmm. I feel like this is going to fuck with my reputation. Nah, nah. We're not doing that. I have tons of money. Actually, oh, wait, hold up. How much does it cost to buy your brewery? I'm just curious. Okay, he is friends with Tormund. Hmm. 25 grand. Okay. We're actually, I mean, creeping up on it. We've got almost 15 right now. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Okay, so let's see. First of all, we have some whites to sell off. So let's go to the tavern. And damn it, this is not where the giant companion is. I was really hoping he would be, but he is not. All right. Regardless, let's check out the trade here. What do you got? Okay. Okay, you know what? These actually sell for a decent amount. Yeah, alright, hey, this isn't too bad. Oh yeah, look at this, this is adding up. So, apparently last episode when we had those uh, bandits that were with us. Um, let me lock all my horses down. There we go. When we had all those bandits with us, and they were stealing stuff from our, our party. One of you guys, and I haven't double checked this, one of you guys said they stole like five or six grand worth of shit. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I mean, we're still earning a lot. Yeah, damn, we can almost afford it. We can almost afford it. Ooh, what is this? Unsullied short sword for 22 grand. Wow, 72 cut damage on a one-handed. It's got very good swing speed. It is short, though. It is short. I mean, they're unsullied. Isn't that their whole point? They've had a little bit taken off. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, they got, a, they got a weirwood bow here, too. I want it. I fucking want this thing, man. I mean, at the rate we're going, we could feasibly get this before too long. Like, it's, we're doing good. Um, what about horses? Do you have anything crazy good? Or some really good armor? It would weigh the horse down a little bit, but it would make it a lot tankier. A lot tankier. 13 Gs. I'm not willing to spend that on a, on the horse armor quite yet, but at some point. It's kind of also, it's kind of iconic that uh, he just doesn't have a helmet. He's, <laughs> he's not worried about getting headshot. Although I think that has happened to us once or twice. Okay. So, we made it up here. There are no giants here. And there, are, is, there is no giant companion. I'm a little saddened by that. Um, I heard that if you go all the way to the f as far north as you can go. So, the, maybe that one. It is. Hey, that is part of Tormund's um, clan. The Giant's Bane. Does Frostfang have any villages connected to it up here? Not that I'm seeing. Okay, eh, that also looks like it has potential. I think it might be this one, just because it's, it's Tormund's clan. I gotta think that that's it. And then, oh, I'd like to fight this group of whites, but they they actually don't count for the uh, the last party that we need to take out for that quest. Mm. Who leveled up? Anyone level up? That's weird. It was giving us a notification. All right, let's run over here. Ooh, we just got a twenty-five steward. Nice. What does that give us? Ooh, less wages, less recruitment costs. Pretty good. Negative 10% food consumption. Mm, also good. Uh, on the money front, I think we're kind of chilling. Hmm. Let's do the warrior's diet. Keeping our boys lean and mean. I think I like that a little better. Alright, so yeah, let's run up here and just see what they got. And who knows? It might be something where it's they're really rare. Like, they only come in stock every now and again. If that's the case, then so be it. But I'm not... Le oh, they got a quest here. That'd be good. If this, if these are the people, we want to do quests for them. We want them to like us. Now, I don't know where the fucking quest went, but... <gasps> yes! 
Yes! Oh my god, look at all the giants! They cost 1500 a pop. Holy shit. What are these guys? They're like, they have red eyes. Is that purposeful? Oh, and neither of them like us, so we can only guy buy one. I want more! Okay, so we'll be walking out of here with two. Two giants for three grand. Damn! Man, wait. I want to do quests. What? There was a quest here, wasn't there? Like when we were coming in? Why won't it show it to us now? <laughs> um... I mean, I guess I could take out the hideout. Let me see if there's any Night Kings in here. I could take out the hideout, and that makes local notables like you more, right? This one doesn't have a... Oh, perfect! This one doesn't have a Night King! Oh, yeah, we can do this. Alright, let me do this real quick. Alright, there we go, Nightfall. Oh, we get to go in with the giants? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, uh, who don't we need? Get this caravan master out of here, Miranda. Welcome aboard. Um, oh man, we get to see the giants. Oh, this is so cool. Oh yeah. So by the way, I the one thing that's a little unfortunate about there not being a live stream this weekend is that I wanted to auction off the first two subscriber heroes, Hodor and uh, Miranda. I think were the first two. Um, so I guess that's gonna have to wait a weekend. I'll do it next weekend. I would live stream on Sunday tomorrow and said <laughs> Look at the absolute size of these lads. Look at their clubs. Is that a femur? That's a bone Dude, that's Hodor. That is Hodor. Look how tiny he looks compared to these dudes Look at this tiny little Bolton guy. Oh My goodness. All right Follow me. <laughs> oh, dude, I wish they had bows like they did in the show. You know what I'm talking about? Like they had the massive, like, essentially just a handheld ballista for them. Okay. Nice. Oh my goodness. My, look at my, look at Ron's bodyguards. Yo. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I kind of want to see him go to work in the, uh, like, instead of having us duel the one guy, I might see if uh, we just have our guys attack. It's gonna be tragic if they die. They are expensive. I mean, I think they, they balance that pretty well. They're at least pretty expensive. Ooh, okay, we do a decent amount of, do a decent amount of damage with a spear on foot. Hit him with the Ned Stark, stab him in the back. Take out the, uh, where did he get stabbed? Was it like the Achilles? Was it, was it like back of the ankle? I can't remember. I am hoping most of you guys have watched this show. There will be spoilers. I mean, I think that's kind of understood when we're playing a Game of Thrones mod, but, um... I don't know. <laughs> every every time I do a series on one of these mods, there's complaints. That was a little risky trying to sneak that shot in there. Okay. Next time I see only one of them, I kind of want to just send in my giants. Do I need to have them in their, like, own brigade? I don't really care about the rest of you guys. I just want my, my big boys coming in. Dropping the hammer. Do we have anyone here? No. Okay, there's two of them over here. Three of them over here. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So, hold up. Who is this group? Three. Okay, you guys go over there. Don't need you three. We'll just w walk in with this group. Okay. So it's our heroes and then the giants, pretty much? Okay. I just want to see them in action. Alright. Go get them, lads. I want to see what you got. I paid big money for you. Come on. Oh, bonk! Bonk! Yes! Oh, they missed, okay. Bonk! <laughs> yes! Yes, yes, yes. We didn't lose anybody, right? No, no, no. They're just octa conscious. Cool. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> Bro, if they hit, it's over. It's over. Okay, a little more over here. All right, let's 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 finish this up real quick, and then I want to see the, the, the final duel. I'm going to kill this guy real fast. Okay. You didn't see anything? I could just edit that out. <laughs> Bonk! Yes. I'm already thinking, just imagine having like 20, 30 of these giants on your front line. 
just absolutely ravaging your enemy. <laughs> They're so good! I mean, I assume, like, they still... Get... Whoa! Hey! Hey! What? I checked! There was no Night King! No! You! You've cut quite a No! Men, I have you. to do it again! How about we settle this one on one? Oh! Did I not check? There was no Night King in here! Do they just spawn one automatically? Come on, man! Well, well, and now I can't, now I can't have the, the giants fight because he'll kill him. I assume. I'm not willing to risk it, man. It was hard to get these two. Alright, let me duel this dude. I'll be right back. God, it took so long. Okay, he's done. Jesus Christ. Uh, he did hit us once, and it was very scary. Very, very scary. Oh, man, I wish... I think there are mods out there that let you keep your enemy's weapons. Like when you take out a lord. God, this thing is just so nice. Is this, does this count as a polearm? I don't know, the way you stab with it, it just kind of looks like it. Man. I mean, eventually if we kill enough of them, I think we can loot it off his body. That and his armor. Like, his armor, I'm sure, is absolutely cracked as well. Alright, good work, boys. Let's see if we get much from this. Alright, we do have some prisoners. Do I want to sell this off? I think they'll just slow us down. They're not even worth that much. Leave them. And then, yeah, not a whole lot. <laughs> not a whole lot. I mean, quality Norse hatchet, I guess that's... Yeah, no, that's not worth all that much. Uh, the other loot is not bad. 60 grain? What the... F really? That's a ton. Okay, maybe I didn't have to take that perk where I was putting our boys on the Spartan diet. <laughs> They're eating good out here. There's no reason for them to be starving. Okay, hold up. Your relation increased by two with local notables. Okay, wait, hold up. There's a quest here now. See, this is what I was talking about. So we come close. Can I do this quest? No, it goes away. The quest fucking goes away. Okay, this guy likes us. But he's not the... He's not the one who sells giants! God damn it. Why don't they like me? Why? Why won't they offer me the quest either? That is really annoying. I'm not trying to fight another one. Mm. Alright. I guess we'll just have to come back periodically. We'll come back at least one more time before we leave the north for the, for, you know, at least for the time being. We'll pick up a few more giants. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Alright, what do we got here? Ooh, plus 8% damage with bows straight up. That seems pretty good. That seems like a really good perk. <laughs> Uh, what do we got here? Powerful, plus 4% damage with melee weapons. D damn, man, these are some good perks. Plus 2% damage, melee damage, by troops in your formation. Or this one, sprint, uh, plus 5% movement speed when you have no shields or no ranged weapons. Equi oh, no, fuck that. Um, yeah, just straight up plus 4% damage with melee weapons? That's, that's cracked. That's awesome. Those are some great perks. And we're up at 24,000 dinars now. Not bad. Okay. Okay, uh, I don't really care about doing quests for these guys. Like, I don't think these guys have giants. I think it's just this one. Wh Why? Why? It, it shows that there's a quest there, and they won't... Is, I mean, is that purposeful? Do they not want you to be able to gain high relationships with them? I don't know. I don't know. What is the one perk that allows you to, like, walk into a town, and then they like you? Like, they, you gain a little bit of relationship... Like, once per day, the first time you enter a, uh, a little village, you gain a relationship with one of their guys. Which one is that? That's one of these. I know it is. Leadership? Give me a sec. I'm, I need to find this. Okay, so I, I don't know if I'm just misremembering how a lot of these perks work, um, but I can't find the ones I'm thinking of. There's stuff like this where um, you can either choose to have plus one recruitment level from either rural or urban notables. So that would help out a lot, actually, for the giants. Um, a lot of these are like, if you're the governor, you can increase relationship with notables. This one is personal. Okay. 5% daily chance to increase relations with a random Lord or notable with negative relations with you when you enter a settlement. But that's not, that's not what it used to be. It used to be like once a day when you entered a settlement, you'd gain a relationship with one. So, I mean, yeah, there's this one where... You gain, get plus one relationship with a notable in your kingdom when you defeat an enemy lord, but I swear that's not what it used to be. There's this that I found. 
plus one relationship per day with a random notable over the age of 50 when a party is in town. I, I, I don't remember that being how it worked. So I don't know if they recently like rebalanced it or what. I suppose it might be worth it might be worth looking and seeing if um if those guys are over the age of 50. Then maybe it could work out. All right, regardless, I think it is time for us to head to Frostfang's camp because I think that might be where the other hero is. Um does this white party give us No. And then at some point we just need to fight another bandit camp around here. Or not camp, uh just a party. It's like this. Mm. Mm. No night king. I might take them out, and then this time I'll just do what you guys suggested, where if you just retreat, um, you can refill your quiver. I think that might be the move. Yeah, let me wipe these guys out real quick. Alright, here we go. And so, we're retreat! for at least this first wave or two while I work down the enemy numbers, I'm just going to tell everybody to retreat. And then, after they're down to like maybe like 20 or less of them, then we'll just have our boys charge in. I want to see the Giants go to work. And hopefully 20 of these whites isn't enough to take out the Giants. That would be kind of tragic if it was. But alright, so we did get some new perks that should allow us to do a lot more damage. Okay, 81. Alright, still not quite enough to one-tap the, uh, the elite whites. But we should at least be a lot more consistent with the, uh, the smaller tier whites. Yeah, 123. We're not going to have to worry about those guys taking multiple shots like we did last episode. All right. Oh, 92? I mean, look. It's start... Okay, but then you have one that only does 58. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay. All right. Give me a sec. This is going to take a while. But it's better than you guys watching me run around here for 20 minutes, slowly pegging them down. Okay. First 34 are down. Bad got uh, still a ton of skill points. Look at that. 17 riding, 14 bow. That is not bad at all. That actually should be another uh, riding perk whenever we leave this battle. God damn, where is the edge of the map? I've been, like, moving for ages. It's gotta be here soon, right? Alright, second wave down, another 27. Uh, some more juicy XP for us. That's two more perks. The 200 riding, and I think the 150 uh, archery. Not bad, not bad. I'm gonna do one more, where I take out as many as I can, and then uh, we're gonna send the giants in to uh, clean up shop. Okay, there's actually only four left, and I could totally finish them off right now, but I want to see the Giants go to work, so I'm going to go leave and just send the big boys in. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's see. They're in this group, so we'll just send infantry. Man, I still can't get over the absolute fucking size of these lads. Seriously, imagine 20 of these guys on a front line. Just like the enemy standing there with a little shield wall. These dudes just kick down the door, break right through them. Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait. Alright, let's distract them a little bit. I wish I. Man, maybe I need to make a group just for Jesus. Hello. No! Let the giants in! Aww. I guess it's a good sign that the rest of our troops are that good. <laughs> Yeah, oh man, that was the Free Folk guys. I don't know, some people were... Ooh, 21 right now, not bad. Some people were saying that they weren't that great for a noble tier unit, and that might be true, but they're putting in work. They're doing pretty decent. Uh, I'll tell you what, we can go ahead and... Um, we'll capture these guys, just because I am planning on going to uh, the next town next. Um, let's love up them, love up them, and ooh, Bolt and Torturer. Nice. And he got he has one more, I think. He can go up to Flare. Is that the last one? Yeah, Flare's the last here. Mm. <laughs> Beautiful. Alright, the dudes are looking good. Is this the highest tier Fen we have? Free Folk Fen Warrior? And he's got two more. Cannibal and then Impaler. Oh man. That's so cool. I love those guys. Beautiful. And ooh, hell Oh my goodness! Lordly male mittens? That's an upgrade. Beautiful. Uh, we'll take this. Oh my god, there's a bunch of them. Hello, yes. Give me all of those, baby. Give me all those. Shit, we're not going to be able to carry this all. Alright. Oh, we can actually carry <laughs> close to all of it. That works then. That definitely works. Beautiful. Alright. So that works? Do we get the quest? What do we get for this? Do I have to go back in or does it auto-complete? Please don't tell me I have to come back. I mean, we are pretty close to the town, so it wouldn't be that big of a deal. 
Ah, there we go. Quest completed. Awesome. Some more renown. Are we clan tier two yet or three? All right, we're positive relationship with him. Not that it really matters that much. That was back. <laughs> I took that quest back when I originally thought giants were just rare spawns. Turns out that's not the case. All right, Frostfang's camp. Have we? I don't. Have we gone here yet? I don't think we have. We got some big level ups there. Yeah. Hello. Two new riding perks. Man, we're getting we're getting up there. Like it's within sight. Okay. Well, let's, let's see what we got here. Breeder. Hmm. Ron, are you a you a breeder? <laughs> 1% daily chance of animals in your party reproducing. Or Shepherd, negative 50% party speed penalty from herding. That's nice. That one's really nice. We don't... Ron doesn't need to breed his animals. Not until we start getting dragons, at least. Oh. <gasps> Wait, is that... Hold up. <laughs> is that a possibility? If we have multiple dragons, could we get them to reproduce? That would be... So sick. If they are... If they're mounts... They, why wouldn't you be able to do that? It would be hard. Like, it's only 1% a day. But on average, that would mean an extra, you know, dragon every year. Mm. If you had two of them. I don't know how that works. Okay. What do we got here? Uh, okay. All right. The enemies take more morale penalty with mounted range kills. Or mounted melee kills. All right. Got you. Got you. Um, I don't know. Probably range kills, I guess. I go. I don't know. Sure. We'll do that. And then what do we got here? Okay, discipline. Um, plus 50% aiming duration without losing accuracy. That's nice. Plus 30% damage with bows to mounts. Yeah, fuck all that. Let us be able to aim longer. That's very nice. Um, athletics is fine for right now. Hmm. You know, at some point, uh, we need to get vigor up. I need to start training up two-handed because I want him to use a big old two-handed axe that he can cleave with at some point. But what do we want for the rest of this right now? Stuff like steward would probably be good. Let me throw a couple points in the steward, actually. We have tons of different types of food right now, so we should be gaining a lot. And this actually has some interesting perks. It's really not too bad. Yeah, let's do that. We're still leveling up so frequently. We have so many uh, focus points. All right, let's avoid these guys. Well, they do have a Night King. At some point, I want to farm enough Night Kings. And I think we need to do it in actual field battles, realistically, in order to get some of his armor or uh, weapon drops. And it, ooh, there's a tournament. It could be something where what we need to do is kill every enemy that he, that is in his party except for him. Leave the battle. And then come back for the 1v1 where the only loot that's possible is just his. And in, in order to maximize, maximize for this, we'd probably also want to kick out most of our party members and have it, like, just be Ron going in. Just to maximize the chance of the loot. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. All right, let's see what, what loot we get here. Um, this is actually would be an upgrade for somebody, I'm sure. Yeah, Hodor or Benjin, maybe. Benjin, maybe. Yeah, that's an upgrade for you. There you go. Take that. Um, what else armor-wise? I mean... Oh, this is an upgrade? Benjin. <laughs> Welcome to the zombie flesh boot army, you and Yorin. Some of you guys were saying in the comments they want us to, you know, always have them. Like, never take those off. We'll see, we'll see. At some point, if we get upgrades for them, we will. But, I mean, look, it's pretty good. They're pretty good. It's so see Charger. When the fuck did we get this thing? When did we get this thing? We haven't been fighting anybody on horseback. I mean, I'll... I guess we'll keep them. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good to sell off the rest here, no? Don't really need any of this. Holy shit. <laughs> 12 G's, baby! Oh, and they've got some interesting loot here that we'll have to check out. Um, we also do not need this much grain. That's only slowing us down, I think. I want more space for loot. Yeah, that, sh that should be plenty. That should be plenty. Alright, cool. 13 G's. Holy. Alright. Let me check out the armor first. What do you got for us? Egret. Oh, Egret's for armor. Oh. Uh, free folk bone armor. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not seeing much that I love here. If I'm being honest. Nothing too crazy. Alright. What do you got here? Oh, not much. I do need better arrows. I need better arrows. 
I am sick of having these ones that only have 20 in a stack. 24 is better. I would like one. Right, 25, that's better. Barbed arrows, 20. No, that's what I... Honestly, I'd rather just take another regular set of arrows over that. And then I'll keep this one. Actually, no, I'm just going to buy another one. No, I don't need all 13. Shit. Just give me one more. Give me one more. And then that way, if I'm ever, like, really grinding down some whites, we can just go bow and three arrow loadout. And that should work pretty well. Um, yeah, these bows... I mean, don't get me wrong, this one's better than what we have by quite a bit. But, I mean, we're making so much money, it's getting to the point where, like... I mean, this one is marginally better at everything. All right, we'll get this one for now. At some point, we're getting the Werewood bow, though. Okay, that's going to happen. Um, what about Dragon Glass Axe? Oh, wait a fucking minute. 120 cut damage, 104 length, 84 swing speed. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What is this thing? I mean, we got to buy it. What? Whoa. That looks cool. It's, a, it's like the obsidian, right? It's made out of obsidian. Oh. Yo. Okay. That's a lot of the money. That we just earned. I understand. I understand. But on a coolness factor, I think we just have to do it, right? We gotta buy that. Holy. <laughs> Alright, what else they got over here? Uh, maybe we get a little saddle upgrade. Especially if we're gonna be start doing some more melee. We want our horse to be a little tankier. Sell that off. Cool. Alright, seven grand. Yeah, it was a little expensive. But we're gonna win this tournament and get it back, so it's all worth it. Let's see what they got here. What's the prize? Okay, another one of these. It sells for a decent amount. It sells for a decent amount. Whoa, hold up. You discovered Woon Woon? He's here! He's in this town! This is the giant companion that we can recruit. Holy, I cannot wait. I want to see him. Where is he at? Where is his big ass at? There he is. Oh my god, he's using a ballista bow. Yes, that's so sick. Okay, this bow is actually garbage. Oh, okay, hello. Boys are fucking our guys up. There we go. He's down. What's up, boy? Miss me. Got him. Ouch. Okay. All right. All right. Relax. Relax. Woo Woo is still up. Going to work. Okay. Still need to wait for one more team to get wiped out. Oh, they took out Woo Woo. Okay. Oh, we don't get to see any more Woo Woo. He was kind of going off with a bow. I mean, like I said, the, the giants in this show were using bows. I wonder if Woon Woon has good uh, experience. Let me see. Where's this? Ah, oh, I couldn't get to his body. Also, there's this guy, the Weeper. The hell? I feel like that's probably a lord. Oh, I'm so sorry, Hodor. <laughs> oh, poor Hodor. Who else we got? We got Benjin. See, now that we're actually collecting a bunch of really good heroes... Um, it's gonna make our tournaments a little harder. Oh, that could have been bad. I'm gonna be more careful. These guys can one-shot us. Probably with a, a big enough, uh, speed bonus. Okay. Working them down, though. Another one. There goes the Weeper. We just need Benjin, and then we're good to go. Definitely don't want to face him in the next round, so yeah, let's take him out before the other guys. Yeah, 37. Fuck, they took out my teammate. I love that. Okay, they took out Benjin. Uh, honestly, you guys can just kill me. Or I can just wipe you out. Be the one works. Oh, they actually... Well, I guess with no speed, they don't do much damage. That's not surprising. There we go. Beautiful. Keep on betting. Even though the amount of money that we make for it is pretty insignificant at this point. Ooh, Jesus. Clobbered him with the overhead. Alright, beautiful. Last round. Oh, and we get the two-handed. Yeah, alright. I don't know who we're going to be able to train up our two-handed skill against. But I want to use that axe. I don't know if using it against the whites is a good idea. Because there's so many of them, I feel like they might overwhelm Ron. 
Maybe we go to a hideout. We go to a hideout. And then that way I can take on the whites one, two, three at a time and train up the axe that way. That could work. That could work. All right, so let's go ahead and trade this off real quick. Nice, six grand. Or we should probably give it to one of our heroes, right? Ah, uh, yeah. God. I hate having to do the unselfish thing. Mm, who would this be best with, though? This is a big upgrade for Benjin. That would be good for him. Yeah, let's give it to him. He's like our probably our best uh, skill wise, like for our fighters. Give it to him. Sell this off. Damn, you don't, you don't have anything, man. Can I get him like a cape or something? Here, this is at least a little something. There you go. Eey, kind of expensive, but yeah, good enough. All right, it's time. Wound wound. Oh, baby. <laughs> Look at this. 300 two-handed. 280 polearm. 280 one-handed. 200 throwing. Jesus. Alright. Let's talk to him. Let's talk to him. I have a feeling he's gonna be expensive. But we've got 20 grand. And I I'll spend all of it on him, man. I'll spend every last penny. You got no problem with that. All right, well, I don't know why I was looking around to see, like, oh, is he one of these guys? No, he's a fucking giant. Of course he's not one of those guys. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> he has to stand in the middle of the room just to fit. Woon woon. Woon woon. I can't even fucking talk to him. He's so tall. Hey, I'm trying to get your attention, buddy. Hey. Hey. Actually, your health, stranger. So, who might you be? Tell me about yourself. My name doesn't matter. My name, or sorry, my name don't matter. You got the money, I'll do the job. It's a grim world out there, I'll do what I have to do. Patch your wounds, manage your house, even sell your wares. Um, yeah, I, I just need your sword. Also, what are you, are you twerking on, Ron? What is going on here? Not trying to be the hero, that's your story. <laughs> I could use someone like you in my company. 80! Two grand! Ah! Oh. Okay. Uh, I must leave now. Oh. I mean, he'll be worth it. He's worth the 82 grand. I just can't afford that right now. And honestly, I don't think we're... I don't think we have any more extra companion slots. Until we, uh, get to the next clan tier. But okay, we have a goal. We have two goals now. Werewood bow is around 80 grand. And now Wound Wound, also 80 grand. It's going to be tough deciding which one we do first when we do get that that money. How, how close are we? Are we getting, we're getting close to the next clan tier. And so we'd have an extra companion. I think I might end up getting a mod that unlimits the amount of companions we can get. That way, like, you know, I want as many of these guys as possible because, I don't know, they did, they did something cool where it's all the companions from the show are in the mod. I, I think it'd be kind of a waste if we only got, like, you know, five of them. You know, might as well take all of them. And then that way, there's more subscriber heroes for you guys to get. Okay. Alright. We have a new long-term goal. Hmm. Alright. Here's my plan. Wait. Still processing. What do I want to do? Okay. First things first. I want to go back up to this town. See if we can improve relations with them. See if we can recruit any more giants if they've restocked. I'll probably fight some more whites. Just earn a little bit more money. That might be something I do in between episodes. Not sure. Still not sure. Are they going to attack me here? Yes, they are. God damn it. The bridge, bridge guardians. You know how much do they got? Let me just take them out. I'm going to just beat them. Let me just beat them. Straight up. Let me get the extra arrows. Oh, I got the dragon. Yes. Okay. So, tell you what. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to work these guys down and then pull out the dragon glass once it gets close to the end and see what we can do to them. Um, and then we're going to go up to that town. We're going to see if we can recruit any more giants. And I want to take out one more uh, hideout so we can test this axe out on foot. And then I think we might be done in the north for a little bit. We're going to head down south. I'm going to join a kingdom. I think we're going to join the Starks. We're going to join the north. And then I want to do some actual fighting against some lords and see how we stack up. I think that's a good plan. 
Alright, here we go. So I just want to test out... I forgot we also got this new bow. Fuck, those guys are kind of fast. I hope they don't... And they spawned really close to us. Let me see if I can get their attention. I just want to distract them a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't want them going in and sniping our troops. Alright, let's see how this new bow works. 144 damage. That is pretty good. I, I, hmm, I doubt we're enough to one-tap the really good whites. But we're getting closer. Oh my god, it is. I don't know if it'll get them every time. But if we can at least sometimes one-tap... Oops, okay, that wasn't a good shot. Okay, hold on, I'm choking here. Got all these extra arrows and all of a sudden I'm thinking I don't have to actually uh, try too hard when I'm aiming. Alright. Yeah, okay, so the one only did 80 damage. Down did 86. Okay, okay. But occasionally we can one-tap these guys? That's not bad. And that means for sure when we get the Werewood Bow, it's over for these fools. Oh, 110 right there. Wow. Okay, beautiful. Let me work these guys down, and then we'll come back when we're ready to break out the new axe. All right, first 51 down. Oh, my God. Another 22 riding, 15 archery. It just keeps going up. I keep on waiting for, like, the rate that we're leveling up to slow down, but it just doesn't. It just keeps going up. Oh my god, we're gonna be capped. We're gonna be maxed out before you know it. At least for for riding, right? Because that we already have maxed out focus points and we're getting close on the, the attribute points for endurance. <laughs> this It feels like we're so early on into this series and Ron is already a tank, man. He is a powerhouse. And I guess that's the way it should be. It's Ron fucking Baringsworth. All right, before we go in again, I just want to check it out. Yeah, what's this new perk? What do we got here? Uh, as the clan leader, plus 30% volunteering rate of cavalry troops in the settlements governed by your clan. Okay, I don't, I don't know what the fuck that is. What is this? Negative 50% escape chance to prisoners in your party. That one's kind of nice. Especially once we start capturing lords. That's very nice. Yeah, we're going to take that. And yeah, boom. Let's just... All right, endurance is maxed out. So now, uh, riding has the potential to go all the way up to max at 330. 330 is the cap. Wow, man. Plus 50% chance. Resistance to getting staggered while mounted. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Um, and versus plus 20% armor to your mount. I think we'd rather like not be able to get staggered as often. That's pretty cool. And then this one. Every point over 275. Or sorry. Oh, no, no. Every 10 points ever over 200. So up to a potential of 13 extra charge damage and maneuvering. That's pretty cracked. That's pretty cracked. All right, where are we going to put this focus point? Two-handed, right? We're going to start using this dragon glass axe. Um, how many guys do they have here? Let's go ahead and re-equip this. And we'll see. We might have enough. We might have enough to use it this time. All right, out of arrows. Now... I think what we what we might do, okay, yeah, see, it's a little dangerous doing this on uh, on horseback. What we might do is uh, come back in and actually let our uh, our giants in, and then I'll just dismount and join them on uh, on foot, and uh, see what we can do with this axe. It's a little nerve wracking going up against. Oh my goodness, 147 damage. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think this thing is gonna do work on foot. All right, here we go. So yeah, we are just gonna send in group one, all right? We're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna dismount because I want to get in on this action. Yeah, man. It's a little slow right now. Just, oh, I'm so sorry, horse. <laughs> it's a little slow. Okay. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> It's a little slow just because we don't have that many skill points in it yet, but it's already doing big damage. Oh, this axe is nice, guys. Oh, it's going to be real nice. Beautiful. We lost somebody? Oh, we lost a Fen? Ah, whatever. Whatever. The strong will survive, the rest will... I guess not. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait, hold on, what was this? No, 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 I'm not spending a war horse to upgrade you. Into just a regular robber knight. Fuck that. I will upgrade you guys to the Thens. And then do we have our first cannibal? Oh, no, warrior. Oh, no, we have two warriors. Okay. None of them have leveled up yet. All right, that's fine. 
That's fine. Ooh, hello, quality bearded axe. Is this what Hodor is using? No, he's using a simple Sparth axe. This one's slightly slower, but so much more damage and length. Yeah, there you go, champ. That's a big upgrade for you. Um, oh, more lordly male mittens. All right. Yeah, there you go, Hodor. Take that. Dude, these guys are just so good for loot. I mean, they really are. That's crazy. Yeah, whenever we need to make a ton of money, we can always just come back up here and farm these guys. Especially once we start getting some archers. That way I don't have to do this by myself. We just let our archers turn them to pieces. I need to figure out who's the who's got the best archers in the game, though. I want the equivalent of the Batanian Fion champions, but here in Westeros. I think... It could be the Night's Watch Rangers. I mean, it would make sense. You would think that that's what their strong suit would be. But I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, what do we got here? 50% zoom with bow. Okay. Plus 10% visual range on campaign map. That's pretty good. Versus, ooh, negative 10% damage taken from projectiles. I mean, that's good. The zoom with the bow is really nice. Realistically, this is better long term. As much as I like sniping with the bow. I will do this for now. We'll probably respect that in the future. We'll probably respect that in the future. Alright, we have another point here. Let's throw it into two-handed. I'm serious. We're going to we're gonna grind two-handed here. I want to get it up. Alright. So let's uh, run over to... Where the fuck are we going? Lorne. Maybe clear out a hideout or two with some melee. And then I can think... I think we can finally head south of the wall. Oh my god, I just saw these bandits. This is perfect. Are they gonna join in? We're not looking for yes, they will. Yeah, perfect. Alright, this is another opportunity to level up the two-handed a little bit and let the uh, the giants go to work. Alright, same thing as last time. Kill them all! Send the boys in. Yeah, okay, the Free Folk then look good. I don't know why people were kind of talking shit about them in the comments. I think they're very solid. I think they're very solid. Right, what's going on, boys? Shoot, I haven't... I haven't shot one of these guys in a while. I wonder how much damage we're doing nowadays. Let's see. 62 to the body. Okay, it's not bad. Let's go in. Come on, get to the side. 200 damage! Oh my goodness! And we're cleaving! Run! Don't do it to him, baby! You can't do that. That's not fair. 174 headshot. 130. Holy, this axe though, oh my god, that is so satisfying, it just crunches through them, oh, I want more, okay, we lost a few more of the fens, that's fine, that's fine, I kind of don't mind working our numbers down a little bit, just because there's so many troops to have to split all of our, Sturgeon peasants, that's not right. There shouldn't be any Sturgeons in here. Um, but then they go into Ironborns. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, we don't need any of that. Beautiful. We'll take the horse. Man, yeah, the loot is just so much better with the zombies, isn't it? <laughs> it's so much better. Okay. Good work, good work, good work. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this. This is fun. Okay, so once again, we approach the village, and it says they have a quest. And then we get real close. <gasps> and he's still there. Aha! He needs help with the brigands. I can do that. I can do that for you. Anything for you, Samar. <laughs> Whatever you'd like. Uh, yes, and Samar's one of the good ones. Okay. Let me recruit your giants first. And then let me talk to you, champ. Um, is he going to be a giant himself? He doesn't look like it. Hey, so who are you then? No, actually, he doesn't have uh, red eyes. Okay. Mm hmm. Samar. Yup, yup. Yeah. Brigands. Okay. I'm gonna hunt him down. Three bands of brigands. Okay, hey, that's good because there are some non-white brigands. Yes, I will do that for you. Beautiful. Okay, we just need to run around and actually find them. I uh, could, could take out those guys if we really wanted to. So we're up to four giants now, and as soon as he likes us more, we'll be able to get five. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, where are those? I saw it. There were groups of them running around. There were more small groups of broken men. <gasps> they don't count. They don't count. They're not close enough. No, I have to take out three groups of whites. This episode's gonna get out so late. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I tried. I tried to record early. My girlfriend wouldn't leave until like 11. Oh, it's already past one o'clock. This episode's gonna come out so late. 
Okay, let me take out this group. Today's not your lucky day, friend. How about you handle... Alright, let me take them out real fast. Real fast. Let me, uh, in fact, let me get... The extra arrows for this first one. And then, maybe if we take out the camp, that'll count. Because there's two groups of them inside of there. It might be worth trying. I wanted to do it anyways, so it's probably worth it. Holy shit, the whites are actually retreating. I didn't even know that whites could lose that much morale. But they're so demoralized from Ron with a single... Well, I guess three quivers. But <laughs> with all the arrows he could carry on his back, is just enough to take them all out. Whoops, hold on, I want these last two. No, 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 no. They don't, they don't get to escape. Where are they at? Where are they at? There they are. I'll get back here. All right, well, we don't get to use the axe again on this battle, but... That's fine. Oop. Actually, I kind of need to be careful with my shots here. I only had four of them. If I missed one or two, I, I don't have a melee weapon. Boom. That's all it takes. 149 headshots. Dude, we, we have just progressed so much since coming to the north one episode ago. I mean, look at this. We're up to almost 200 archery. We're up 262 riding. I mean... Come on. What? <laughs> That's insane. What do we got here? Some more loot for daddy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Beautiful. All right. Let's see if taking out the hideout counts as wiping out the, the gangs. I have a feeling it doesn't. But if it did, that would be amazing because I, I really don't want to take out a full another two groups of whites, man. <laughs> I really don't. All right, what do we got perks-wise here? Oh, yep, the resistance to getting staggered. Beautiful. And then we're only 13 away from getting the final perk for riding. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Um, I think we're good on most other things. Is there anything that's actually close? I mean, Bo is, but, you know, there's not much we can do with that for the time being. Let's get the two-handed up, man. Seriously, I'm like this new axe, we're, we're going to put in some work with it, baby. We're going to put in work. All right, so let's see here. Hey, it's showing this, the quest sign, so I feel like this counts, man. Um, I guess it might be worth looking to see. Do they have... They do have a Night King in there. Do they still have a Night King? They still have a Night King in there. Oh, man. I mean, with a new bow, I'm sure we're fine, right? I'm sure we're fine. All right, let's just do it. Um, <laughs> With our four giants? Yes, sir. Uh, give me Yorin... Miranda? Cool. <laughs> God damn, I wish there wasn't a Night King. I, I'm just, I don't, I don't... The last thing I want is to have, the, like, our giants go in, and then the Night King just, like, slaughter half of them. You know? I, that would just be so disappointing. I want to go home south of the wall with five giants in my party, okay? Is that too much to ask? Shit. I don't have my axe! I want to use my axe! Hold up. Can I retreat and then come back? Yes. We can do that, right? I think. They didn't even know that we were attacking them, right? They weren't even alerted to our presence. Fuck me. Alright, we have the axe, but unfortunately I don't think we can attack it now. God damn it. <laughs> How long do I have to wait? Alright, give me a sec. I, I might run around, kill some troops, kill some enemies, and uh... Oh, there's another hideout. Alright, this one counts. Oh, and otherwise, this group of whites looks juicy. That'd be fun to take out. Alright, let's just do it over here. And we're fine. We are totally a-okay. God damn it, those whites just attacked us, didn't they? Didn't they? <laughs> Hello, they a, traveler. They have Hope a night brought game. your purse. They you see, a... we're what you might call brigands. How much would but it I'm cost? I'm afraid we can't let you pass without paying us a bit of coin. How much would it cost to pay you off? 2500 How many are there? Oh, okay, I guess we're just fighting then. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna tab out and see how many there were. 123? Dude, I should have just paid them the 2k. Alright, here we go again. Alright, first wave down. 69. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That is Oh, we almost have the final horse perk. Damn it. Okay. Close. Very close. Okay, hold up. So there's actually only the Night King left. We have nine arrows. I think with nine headshots. We might, oh, especially if we're doing 21 damage a shot now. 
that doesn't sound like a lot, but for the Night King, that's so much more. In the past, we were only doing like maybe 10 for a headshot. That's actually a lot better. Ooh, baby. What you doing there, little nighty night? Man, if we take him out with the uh, the dragon glass axe, shouldn't he be dead, right? Because in the show, it was either Valyrian steel or dragon glass, right? That's what you had to use to take out the, uh, the night walkers, or the white walkers. Boom. Look at him. Sit down. Sit down. Get him out of here. All right, that's got to be. Are you kidding me? We're just so close to 200 bow. Another 28 renown, though. I mean, this is doing, this really is doing wonders for our renown. I can't complain too much that I'm having to do a lot of this. And it's good loot. Yeah, all right, all right. As much as I'm grumbling about it, because this episode is going to be out a little later than intended. Man, I hope I can get this out by like 4 p.m. at the latest. This is going to be really late for you guys uh, in Europe, but oh well. I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. All right, here we go. Nightfall. Go ahead and level this up, the final riding perk. Oh my god. We've got every riding perk in the game. This is episode four, I think, right? <laughs> Holy, all right, let's get some more athletics because we are about to do some work on foot. Yeah. I just noticed we are taking every single top one, huh? Hmm, interesting. All right, let's do it. Bring the giants in. Yorn Miranda. Nice. Let's do it. All right, here we are. Gentlemen. Oh my god, look at the giants. This is just four of them. This is just four of them. Remember what I was talking about earlier. Just wait for us to get like, what? No, 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 guys, over here. Come this way. Just wait till we get like 20 of them on the front line. All right, let's see. Let's take these whites out. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Yes. Oh, this axe is gonna pop off, man. I do think we have a Night King at the end of this. Um, obviously, we're not gonna try to take him out with this axe. I don't like our odds. This thing's too slow. Once this thing gets a little bit faster, then we can think about it. <laughs> Jesus. This thing does so much damage. Because <laughs> we have to remember, is we have 79 two-handed skill. Our two-handed skill is so weak right now. Wait till we get it up to like 300. This axe wasn't even that expensive, was it? Oh no, wait, no, it was kind of expensive, wasn't it? Was it like 16 grand or something like that? I, could, I don't remember how much it was. It was pretty expensive now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, let's just go ahead and sprint through. Hello, sir. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Okay, we are slow. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right, that's 125 athletics. That's a perk. Hello, gentlemen. Come on over here. I'm just sprinting ahead of our troops. I kind of, man. All right, we got four giants. Am I crazy? I want to let them go to work against the, one of the one of the night kings. If we had the night king in a one v like you know, however many troops we have, I'd be down to try that. But when it's the night king and all of his elite dudes, it just makes me nervous, man. I don't want to. I don't want to lose a bunch of giants right here, right when we're so close. <laughs> Boom. I just think it'd be a dumb move, but I also kind of want to try it. I don't know. We'll see what his boys are looking like. How many bodyguards he has? If he has a ton of bodyguards. <laughs> if he has a ton of bodyguards, maybe we won't. He's got five. One of them's a weak one, too. Am I crazy? We got four giants! We got four fucking giants! You. You cut quite a swath throat, my man. Alright, you know what, fucker? We're doing it. You. I don't fight with brigands. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go in, boys. Where'd the Night King go? The giant one tapped the Night King! He one tapped the Night King! I'm unconscious. So did we capture him? Oh my god, we just captured the Night King. And we can recruit him now. That means we can recruit him, right? With enough conformity, it's gonna take forever. 11,000 conformity is what we need. How good is he? I can look at his stats and all that. 
300 everything. Night King Blade it is the pole arm. It's a two handed pole arm. 183 swing damage. Yo. Everything's 99. Oh my god, we can recruit the Night King. That was that was the move. That was such the move. Bringing in the Giants. Where are they at? Bringing in the Giants was the move. Holy. <laughs> and we finished the quest. Oh my god. That is awesome. That is awesome. It's just auto-completed. Nice. Okay, so he's gonna like us now? He's gotta like us. Yes, he's positive. He's positive relationship with us. That is awesome. Let's go in. I can't believe we have the Night King now on our side. And now, oh, he's got two more giants for us. So we've actually got six. Perfect. Perfect. Let's get out of here. Let's head down to Castle Black. This has been an amazing trip to North of the Wall. I mean... We've leveled up so much. So much. 282 riding. Almost 200 bow. I mean, come on. Oh, this one's nice. All right. Baptized in blood is a sick perk. Oh, but show of strength is also nice. 30% chance of knocking the enemy down with a heavy hit. Ah, but if we land a heavy hit, they're just going to die, right? They're just going to die. Baptized in blood is cool. Every time we kill an enemy with a two-handed weapon, we get plus five experience to our infantry. It's so good. Yeah, we're going to do that. And then athletics. Um, plus 30% damage bonus from speed while on foot. That's awesome. Yeah, definitely that. Charge damage doesn't really happen to us all that often. And same, plus 30% to all the uh, troops in our formation. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. Guys, let me head down to uh, Castle Black. We're going to leave the north, the, the far north. And next episode is going to be a banger. We're going to... Join up with the North. And uh, look, Ron was already holding his own with the, uh, you know, non-supernaturally enhanced enemies. But after this uh, journey North, he went into the, uh, what's it called? The uh, the hypo-baric uh, ch chamber or whatever, a hyperbaric chamber. He's come out a new man. Oh, he's going to be so good. Oh, he's going to be so powerful compared to all of them. Oh, there's a lot of... Oh, let me introduce myself to these lords real quick. Hello. Yo, hold up. This chick has a Night King in her party. What the fuck? God damn. Okay. I don't know how she would have gotten it. Like, she killed... Maybe she she beat a Night's Watch group that had captured one? That's the only thing I can think That's of. That's close enough now. Alright. Interesting. God, that would have been terrifying to go up against if you didn't see that coming. That's you thought it was just like a, a regular Who lord. And then <laughs> they pull out their trump card, the Night King. <laughs> I, sorry. I... All right, all right. There we go. That's all these guys. I wonder how much are we actually getting conformity from him yet? I don't know if it's been a day. It has 154. So it's going to take like 100 days for us to recruit him. But it'll be worth it. Uh, let's make sure we lock him. Yeah, lock him down. We're going to eventually, you know, Stockholm Syndrome, convince him to uh, join us. All right, and let's talk to Mance Raider here. Actually, I think we've all, we've met him, right? Pretty sure we've it's met him been already. A while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what problem do you need? Raiding enemy territory? Yeah, I'm not doing that for you, man. Um, I think we've met pretty much most of the people in his army. Maybe not this guy. If you please. Yeah, I hadn't met that guy. Oh, I don't know why. That, <laughs> he just looks he just looks weird. It's all right, cool. Been a while. I think that's everybody. Let's get out of here. Good work to Castle Black. There's a little tournament. We'll do that next episode. I just want to sell off all the loot and do a little bit of a recap as to everything that's gone down in the last two episodes. Alright, so hop in here. Trade. We're about to make some bank. Oh, we're about to make some fucking bank, guys. Alright, is there any of this stuff that we need? I don't think so. I've done a pretty good job of locking down the stuff that we actually want to keep, I think. You ready for this? Holy shit. <laughs> 35,000. My god. They have a Weirwood bow here. We're going to be at 55 grand. Man. Actually, if we hadn't bought the, like, 
if we hadn't bought the Giants, maybe a couple other purchases, we would be able to afford the Werewood Bow right now. Honestly, we could even get this Noble Bow, but at this point, it's probably worth just waiting for the Werewood, I would think. It is uh, moderately better than the Noble Bow. Yeah. A few more damage, a, few more, a little bit more speed, a few more missile speed. I think it's worth it to just wait for the Werewood Bow and then just clap everybody from here on out. That's going to be so broken. Ooh. Ah, that's actually not that great. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Ooh, a bunch of axes there. It's tempting. What about these horses? Anything crazy? No. No. All right. Gentlemen, this has been a lot of fun. I'm sorry this episode got out so late, but I think it was worth it. We got so much work done. This axe is just so insane, and we're close to being able to afford, like, the best bow in the game on top of it. I mean, come on, guys, we are in a very good place. Next episode, we go down, we join the Starks, and we just start wiping out enemy lords. We go raiding, we do everything. Oh, they've actually taken Black Tide. The North has taken Black Tide. Yeah, they're in a good place. They're in a good place. So, until next time, as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you like this series, please leave a like. It really helps the algorithm. You know, if you've made it this far and you're not subscribed, I mean, you know, it doesn't hurt. My upload schedule is not always consistent, so, you know, ring the bell and you'll always be notified when uh, either a new episode is coming out or I'm going live, and then that way you can earn some dinars and get yourself one of these subscriber heroes. But until next time, as always, take it easy.